This is Maria Hawk, dietitian with Breakthrough Strength. Uh, today we're going to talk about how to read a nutrition label. Uh, it's a very important tool to get to know, especially when you're at a grocery store or when you are comparing products and looking for specific things in a product. So let's take a look at this yogurt right here. So we're going to talk about um, this product, Chobani Greek uh, non-fat yogurt. And um, two things um, are part of the nutrition facts label. Uh, first off, you will see uh, a box like this that will tell you information about a serving size of a product. And you also have a list of ingredients. So we're going to talk about both things. So just let me back off and say that all nutrition labels will look the same. Um, all, all products are required to have the exact same information uh, so that the consumer can look up uh, calories and nutrients in that particular product. Some products like uh, granola bars or candy bars that are smaller will have a horizontal label, but it, and it will look a little different, but it will still have the exact same nutrition information in it. <clears throat> so let's start with the first part of the nutrition label, the serving size. So the serving size of this yogurt is one cup or 227 grams. Notice that there's a metric measurement right next to uh, the cup right here. So it's always going to have two uh, ways to measure. I personally like the gram um, sir, uh, type of um, measurement because it's more accurate. Um, so very important to know how to measure. Uh, sometimes our cups, you know, we try to pack up some food in there and it might be more than 227 grams. So I always like to weigh it, but it's not always available. So uh, both are fine, uh, but the grams are gonna be more accurate. Uh, the next line we have the amount of servings per container. This particular yogurt has four cups or four servings of yogurt in this whole container. However, this nutrition information right here is for that one cup, for the one serving size that we're specifying right here. So let's move on and talk about the next part of the nutrition label. Calories. Calories is the first thing that appears after you know what your serving size is. So this particular yogurt has 120 calories per serving, per cup, and it has zero calories coming from fat. You always have this on the right side. It always tells you uh, how many calories come from fat. And this product says it's non-fat. Um, all the products, most products that are fat-free or non-fat will say it on the label because it's one of their um, ways to advertise a product. Okay. So um, the next part is the macronutrients and the micronutrients. That are in this product. So macronutrients are fat, carbohydrate, and protein, and the micronutrients are vitamins and minerals. So let's look at uh, the total content of fat in this yogurt, and it's zero grams, okay? Um, and you're probably wondering what these percentages are right here, so we're going to talk about that um, as we go as well. Uh, these are called uh, percentage daily values, and you can see here on the bottom, it says percentage daily values are based on a 2,000 calorie diet. Basically, what that means is um, uh, several uh, public health professionals got together and established guidelines of what they recommend you have of that particular nutrient based on a 2,000 calorie diet. So now I have to say, most people don't know how many calories are consuming on a daily basis. Um, and or they might be consuming less or more. So this number, I don't find it particularly useful um, in, in my daily um, meal planning per se, but it is there in case you want to utilize it. So, but again, it's based on a 2000 calorie diet. So, okay, so let's go on to fat, zero grams of fat. Fat's always gonna be broken down. Uh, in this case, uh, we have saturated fat and trans fat. Um, these two particular uh, types of fat 
uh, are two that the American Heart Association and the American Diabetes Association recommends that you limit or stay away from uh, for heart health. So um, th these two are always going to be listed. Sometimes we can see others like polyunsaturated fat or monounsaturated fat, um, and those are called the good fats. So um, in this case, we only have these two and uh, we have zero fat. So we don't have to worry about this product having any trans fats or any saturated fat. So moving on, the next uh, line is cholesterol. Uh, one cup of yogurt will have 10 milligrams of cholesterol. Again, this is about 3% of your daily value that they recommend if you're in a 2,000 calorie diet. Next line is potassium. This is a um, electrolyte. Uh, this particular product has 320 milligrams of potassium. Uh, sodium, 85 milligrams of sodium. Um, a lot of uh, people ask me about sodium. Uh, should I restrict it? Should I eat more of it? And it really, my answer is it depends. Um, do you have any heart conditions that um, where you have to restrict the sodium? Or are you an athlete? where you need to eat more sodium to, to maintain um, a good electrolyte balance. It really just depends. So if you are going to look at this number, you have to really uh, know what's going on uh, with either your exercise or your health. So if you have a condition where you have to restrict it, then I would look for products that are less than 150 or 140 milligrams of sodium per serving that is considered low sodium. And the label usually will say it, um, but there are rules. So um, the product has to be less than 140, 150 milligrams of sodium for it to be considered low sodium. Uh, but other than that, if you don't have any medical conditions, then, you know, I wouldn't worry too much about it. Um, total carbohydrates, um, 9 grams of carbohydrates in a cup of yogurt, okay? And same thing as the fat right here. There's a breakdown, okay? There's several types of carbohydrates in a product. Um, there's only two listed here, although there is more. So in this case, uh, they're telling me that there's zero grams of fiber in this yogurt and six grams of sugar in this yogurt. And you're wondering, well, six plus zero is not nine. <laughs> and that's true. Good math right there. So uh, that's because there's probably traces of other kinds of carbohydrates in this product that are not recorded. Because if it's less than 0.5 grams of something, they're not required to put it on the label. So um, that's where the other three grams might be coming from. So I tell people, don't worry about anything else but this one number right here, nine grams. That's the total amount of carbohydrates um, that this product has. Um, now, I do want to mention that um, a lot of products have labels that say, oh, this product is sugar-free. So I want you to turn the label around and, and look here, and it might be sugar-free, but it might not be carbohydrate-free. That is particularly important if you're counting your carbohydrates on your daily meal plan. Moving on, we have protein. That's your third micro macronutrient um, of a food, and this particular yogurt, one cup, has 22 grams of carbohydrate. I would say this is a good source of protein, for sure. So if you're looking to... Um, um, have foods that are high in protein, I would say anything greater than a 20% daily value for this 2,000 calorie diet, um, if you're on a 2,000 calorie diet, uh, then that would be a good source of protein. Um, after that, we have the vitamins and minerals. These percentages are daily values uh, that um, public health professionals have established, you know, what, what's recommended for you if you're in this 2,000 calorie diet. Um, we're going to do ingredients, and ingredients is important to look at, especially if you are looking for um, allergens or specific things you need to avoid in a product. So if, if you have a child or if yourself, you know, you're allergic to something like peanuts or gluten, gluten or soy or whatever it is, they are manufacturers are required to list every ingredient in that one product. So always look at the ingredient list. Um, they are listed in the order 
of the amount of that ingredient in the product. So in this case, we have two ingredients. We have um, non-fat yogurt and we have live and active cultures. So this product is mainly yogurt and then the second ingredient, which is less, um, it is live cultures. So as you can see, there's not a lot, there's not any additives besides those live cultures that are required to make yogurt. Um, it's a pretty clean product. So um, those are the things that I like to look at in a nutrition facts label. Um, so always be mindful of the serving size and just know that all these um, macro and macro and micronutrients are referring to that one serving size. Okay. All right, guys. Um, thank you for listening. I hope this information is useful for you guys so that you can make better nutrition choices and um, hopefully it'll help you for your meal planning. Thanks and have a good day.